hey. So I'm in the office now, as you can see, and uh, you know how everybody has a drawer where <laughs> you just have a whole bunch of junk in that drawer? And there's one drawer in here that I really want to clear out so that I can put in my extra books that I've bought or books that I haven't had the chance to read yet, maybe some stationary items, all of that. What I'm trying to do is get my desk where I sit and work to be as minimal as possible, like not too many things. I feel like I can use one of these drawers here. Let me show you. More specifically, the first one. This is not closed properly. All right, more specifically, this first one here to put in all my books and whatever. Now, don't judge me. <laughs> it's a messy drawer. So when you open it, it's got makeup from a long time ago, buckets, makeup cases, just a whole bunch of junk. And I feel like I'm slowly, slowly getting fed up with it every time I look at it. So I'm gonna clear out all this makeup is probably old, so I'm not even going to use, I'm gonna throw it all out. Uh, this was around the time that my sister and I used to do makeup uh, for weddings, with trick dances, blah, 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 all that jazz. And uh, yeah, some of it got left behind, a lot of it got thrown out, but some of it got left behind and I've never touched the straw since. And I feel like it's driving me mad. So before the sun sets, I feel like it's been a productive day, been eating clean, feeling great, now we're gonna tidy up this mess and then I'll show you the new setup. I have an idea in my head, but we'll see how it goes. So let's do the absolute most. I need to get a black paper bag so that I can throw off the shit away, most of the stuff. Look at this bag. Look at this bag. That time it's been sitting in there. Jesus. See what I mean by old makeup? This is not stuff that I would even give to anyone, honestly. It's old. It's probably gonna make people break out and all of that. Uh, these two. The only thing I would consider is eyeshadow, but even with that said as well, I mean, look at this stuff, like an inkblot powder. Oh, it's even broken. I just feel like it's all just a damn waste. There's glitter in here. Oh, God. <coughs> See? It's even making me sneeze. These are makeup brushes in here, so maybe I might keep these. No, I don't want to keep them. This, this is the problem, you're just hoarding things, you just keep things for what? My sister would love to know about this belt. Look at that. Look at that. Look, it's just sitting in here. My goodness. Look, look at my girl. Look at my girl. Look at my girl. And another picture of my girl. Look at her. Oof. Now I just need to get something to wipe this down. And yeah, I'll be right back. Okay, here we go. Got a bucket with water. I'm gonna clean this drawer up.
so I want to use this um, so that I can be able to put extra books, extra stationary things. I am going to set that up now and then I'll show you the finished product once I'm done. Okay, bye. Okay, and here we go. This is the final, final, final of what this drawer looks like. I mean, if you look at the before and you look at the after, I love it. So starting on the left, I decided to make my books all on the left. Some of these I've read, like this one, Go With The Louding Voice I've read, Invisible Girl at the bottom I've read. Um, what's this? This is the one that I want to read next. And this is the one that I want to read next. Yellow Means Stay, uh, an anthology of love stories from Africa. Really, really excited to read this next. So yeah, this side is books that I have and haven't read. Um, and then when you move to this side, it's pretty much extra stationary bits. Um, we've got like little notepads here. These were from Typo. Uh, got them in a set. And then underneath are the poetry ones. Some extra pens as well. Um, stationary bits, pins and things. Um, normally when I'm sitting up here working, I'm wearing my eyeglasses. So these help when it comes to cleaning my glasses or my computer screen or my camera screen, whatever it may be. Um, and then here are just little extra like bottles. These come in handy when I want to um, spritz my hair throughout the day, like this as well, the mini ones. Or if I want to carry something, if I'm traveling, like this, you know. So really, really cute. They come in handy. I love those. And then here, it's just a bits and pieces of extra things, really, to be honest. Um, the glitter is there. I don't think I'll ever use glitter, but hey. Um, these are some eyeshadows that came from that old uh, pack. And I just, I just can't let them go. I'm sorry. Here we go. This is one from MAC, which is blue. It's quite effervescent. Blue, black, gray. Love that. And then these are not that old. So these ones are fine. So yeah, I'm pretty happy with how it looks now. Um, compared to the mess that it was before, I'm very, very relieved. It looks pretty good now. I'm happy with how it looks. Yep. So now I'm going to rest a little bit and then probably come back for dinner time, even though, even though I'm not quite sure I'm going to eat at dinner time, but we'll see how it goes. All right. I hope you enjoyed that little cleanup session bit and yeah, I'll talk to you later. Bye. Bye. Good morning. No, good afternoon. It is currently half past one. I just got back from work. Made myself my first cup of coffee. Been drinking tea all morning. Um, and I'm about to sit down and continue reading. I'll tell you a little bit about this book. Just a quick catch up from yesterday. Um, I didn't eat supper. I know I was supposed to come back and, you know, prepare my dinner with you guys and show you what I was going to be eating. But I was so full of, of the, um, the burglar wheat and the veggies and whatever. I'm not used to having something as heavy, even though the, the, um, what's this? Even though the bowl was quite small, I just, I, I really felt foolish. And I thought, you know what, no, I'm not gonna, the last thing I want to do is stand in front of the stove and fry up a burger or whatever, which is what we're having today. 
Yes, we're having the fries burger today. Um, so I wasn't planning on doing that, but because today is Friday, exciting times, I'm gonna be chilling in the house and literally probably gonna finish this book today because wow, started it yesterday. Um, yeah, I'm gonna, we're gonna make the burgers. I haven't eaten at all today, so I'm thinking of maybe popping those, um, the phyllo wrapped uh, spinach and what, 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 that vegan thing from Woolworths that I showed you. I'm thinking of popping that into the oven and having that as pretty much like a lunch. Um, still considering that. I don't feel like having an egg or whatever, but I, I can always have toast with that uh, dairy-free cheese, whatever. I'm continuing the plant-based and dairy-free uh, day today and then probably tomorrow I'll go back to normal I don't know but so far feel great don't feel any different I feel like maybe if I was doing this for like a week or so I would understand but or I would feel a little bit different rather I would understand what do you mean um, but there isn't really any change or anything like that um, so yeah I'm gonna make some food a little bit later maybe around I'm gonna read maybe for about half an hour till about two o'clock and then I'll make something to eat. But before I do start reading, I am currently reading this. Gents, girls, gents, girls. I, oh my God. Okay, so I started two books yesterday and I wanted to read uh, the first 20 pages of each book and then decide which book I want to go with. So one of the books was The Glass Hotel, which you saw in some of the clips from yesterday. And then the other one was this one, uh, The Year of the Witching by Alexis Henderson. This one won. This one won. Um, I didn't even know. I thought this was like a thriller about witches and what have you. No, it's actually a horror novel. And um, I started reading it yesterday and now I'm about 100 pages in. Um, and... Oh, wow. Okay, so it is set in the town of Bethel. And this town is sort of like um, a town that is run by, it's a small town that is run by a prophet. And there's a whole lot of religious patriarchy in this. I can already sense it, and I'm only 100 pages in. So if you're somebody who doesn't want to read about that kind of thing, or who doesn't really want to read about religion, or, you know, you know words like the Holy Father, and the Dark Mother, and the you know, all that kind of stuff, maybe you might not want to pick this up. But this book immediately gave me vibes of Salem Witch Trials, gave, gave me vibes of The Crucible, if you read those books. Um starts quite slow but it opens in a town called Bethel and we follow the protagonist her name is Emmanuel and Emmanuel essentially is living in a town where the community just doesn't quite favor her and it is because of the doings of her mother and not of her own um when Emmanuel was born Emmanuel um her mother died at birth when she was giving birth to Emmanuel and her mother had quite a tumultuous history, okay, where she um, had an affair with a lover who is black and therefore Emmanuel is biracial. And the town, white folk, yeah, they kind of didn't like Emmanuel. They don't like Emmanuel because of her mother's past and what her mother did. And the affair that she had with this black man, she had to witness this uh, black man being burnt alive once the prophet found out because she was betrothed to the prophet. She was supposed to marry the prophet. Basically, that's what happened till Emmanuel came around. And um, so the town is surrounded by this dark forest that is called the forest of darkness or the darkness of something like that um and this dark forest is inhibited by witches so something happens one day where emmanuel who is a she's like a 17 or 18 year old and she tends to um she lives with her grandparents and she tends to the sheep of the she's a shepherd essentially and um one of the rams that she was uh coming back from the main town with she was trying to sell the ram it didn't quite work out one of the rams ran into the dark forest and let me tell you what she saw in there 
even had me shook. I was like, ah, 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 whoa. I didn't, it's because I didn't think this book was a horror. I thought this book was a, a thriller. And um, yeah, so she goes in there, she sees something, and um, essentially what happens is she comes back out with her mother's journal. So uh, the mother at some point went into this dark forest and uh, this is how Emmanuel came about. The mother went into the dark forest and stayed in there for a couple of months and she came back out when she was heavily pregnant with Emmanuel. So she found her mother's journal in the dark forest and wow, things start unraveling from there. Um, so far that's all I've read. But I feel like it's great and I want to read it some more. Um, and yeah, I'll probably read it. It's already 20 to 2. I am feeling quite hungry. I'll probably read until about half past 2. I'm in no rush to eat, really. I'm trying this thing called intuitive eating. Eat when you're extremely hungry. <laughs> um, but I'm also trying to figure out what I'm going to eat. So... So it's much later on in the day. It's going for five o'clock. I'm gonna make, I'm gonna prepare the burgers for later on. This is what we're having. We're still on the meat list, right? So this is what we're gonna have. Two nights, the nights. So this is what we're gonna have. We're going to have the fries big fry burger made with love and plants juicy delicious and delicious for the barbecue let's see a blend of cereals containing gluten um vegetable proteins onion vegetable oil sunflower seed dijon mustard corn flour flavorings coriander sugar salt savory flavor white pepper nutmeg wow thickener smoke flavor beetroot, plant fiber, and bamboo, paprika, cilantro, black pepper, blah, 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 uh, turmeric, and color. So when you take it out, that is pretty much what they look like. I am going to, very, very hard, I'm going to have to defrost this um, in the microwave because I didn't think to take it out. I, I thought like it's those burgers where you can just put it on or frozen, but clearly not. They are quite thick in size, so let me defrost this. Get the pan out, we can get started. This should take a couple of minutes to defrost and then we on the job and the business of the day. Let's do it. So the one thing I can tell you while we wait for the oil is that um, I can really smell the spices. It's quite, quite well seasoned. There's a whole lot of spices going on in there. And if you look at the color, it's a very light brown color with bits of green. I'm assuming oh, that's all the spices, the parsley, the coriander, all of that jazz. So yeah, I'm gonna wait for the oil to go a little bit, nice and hot, and then we will lay them on the pan. Let's see. Uh, Non-stick pan, add the defrosted patty and reduce to medium heat which we will do um it says on high so we're gonna the it's gonna be high the heat is gonna be high and then we're gonna add the burgers and then reduce the heat okay the oil oh.
there we go it's quite it's darkened quite nicely it's not burnt it isn't burnt um so i'm just laying it on the kitchen towels for oil to drain out any excess oil I'm gonna turn it as well a little bit um quite firm can't wait to slice through it so we can see what it looks like um but yeah quite firm not gonna so, lie let's cut through this and have a look Ooh. all right still quite hot quite bright on the inside um let me just grab the fork being left-handed is a bit tricky here so this is pretty much what it looks like on the inside quite bright on the inside i can see little bits and pieces of vegetables as well in there um doesn't really smell it smells really very lightly uh, smoked so yeah i think the proof is in the tasting however i like the fact that there's barely any oil on the paper towel which is quite impressive to see because there's a lot of oil that comes from uh, meat burgers and all of that so i'm quite impressed to see that there's barely any oil on here let's do a taste test so i'm just going to get this and make it a quick taste test for you guys quite crunchy on the outside which is nice i like it like that and then soft on the inside can't quite pin what the what the flavor is this uh, there's an overbearing flavor like a herb kind of flavor that i can smell ah. i mean it's okay it's okay it does have it's crunchy on the outside quite soft on the inside um tastes like it's cooked all the way through i can um taste the herbs and the spices but i don't know when you've tasted meat burgers it is vastly different but it's not not consumable like it's it's quite enjoyable and um i feel like if i was eating it like this alone i don't know if i would enjoy it as much um however we're gonna make some i don't know if i'm tasting soy is there soy in here yep there is Vegetable protein, wheat, and soya. Okay. It's fairly okay. It's not uh, the best, but it's, 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 <laughs> it's doable. It's doable. I really want to taste it with the, um, what do you call it? With the burger, everything compiled together, the relish and the cheese and uh, maybe a bit of, mm, I was going to say bacon, <laughs> no bacon today, maybe a bit of avocado and some greens and top it off with a little bit of sriracha. Maybe, maybe it might taste a little bit different, but for now it's okay. A little bit orange or yellowy. I'm assuming this is the turmeric that's kind of popping out there. So you know how turmeric kind of dyes everything in terms of color it's not bad at all it's not the best but i feel like if you are on a meat alternative you could enjoy it not alone maybe when you combine it in a burger and a blah blah blah
Okay, so that's pretty much it. That's the burger. Um, I'm gonna try and bite into this without making it messy. Covered it all the way up. Uh, let me move you guys this way. Got avocado, dairy-free cheese, uh, the meatless bun, and some more vegetables, cucumbers, greens. We're gonna try it. My mouth is already watering, so let's go. Mm. The relish is a sweet chili relish, so I opted not to go in with the sriracha. Oh, wow, it's good. It's good. You see, it tastes different with everything else added on. Mmm. Mmm. And I mean tastes different in a very good way. Of course, the burger is crunchy. It's got all the right things that should be going into a burger. Got the tomatoes on the side. Kind of felt like it would be too much to add the tomatoes onto a burger that's already got tomato relish. Oh, mm -hmm. But wow. And what is relish in South Africa? Isn't it gravy? <laughs> Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Much more um enjoyable uh like this when it's within a burger. Really, really good. Mm. Mm-hmm. 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 Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. I think it goes um I was gonna mm. Excuse me. This is a bit messy. I was gonna add chips to this whole shebang. I really don't feel like having chips. I have something not as filling. And uh, I feel like the chips would have done too much. But just like this, oh wow. So, so good. So good. Mm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Wow. So that's pretty much it for me. Um, just an overall, I feel like um, the ones that I did try, the products that I did try, the dairy-free cheese, uh, the almond milk, the meatless buns, I feel like it's good, it's doable. It's not obviously the real thing, but it's good, it's doable. You can live a lifestyle like this, eating like this. The only downside about this kind of lifestyle is this stuff is very expensive compared to I mean those two buns alone was um, I mean the two patties was I don't know 40 bucks for two now imagine if you're somebody who likes who has a family of five to feed and you want to do um, burgers that Friday it's it's kind of a lot of money uh, considering also there's other, there's the meatballs, there's this, there's this. I'll definitely vlog on the days where I do eat the other meaty products, meatless products. Um, but yeah, the cheese quite light on the tongue. It wasn't as pungent as cheese or, 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 or not pungent, um, strong, potent as cheese normally tastes to the tongue. But aside from that, I'm going to finish this off. It's probably going to take me five minutes to devour. And um, that's it. That's the end of this vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. If you did, please subscribe, join the family. If you want to see more of this, um, me trying out uh, alternatives to what I normally would have, please let me know. And let me know what you'd like me to try out. And let's see. Um, and yeah, I'll see you in the next video. I'm kind of tired today. So I'll see you in the next video. Bye.